Hey everyone, since all of my other videos are dedicated to problem solving, I wanted to create a quick video showing which calculator I have been using to solve these problems with. By now, you know how bad I am at drawing, so let's get right into the video. As of March 2024, this is the list of allowable calculators according to the NCEES. Even back when I took my exams, I remember being disappointed that the TI-89, which was my go-to calculator in college, was not on the list. However, I was really happy with the functionality of the TI-36X Pro, and I used it on both the FE and the PE exam. I'm going to go through a few quick things that I like about this calculator. There are a lot of other good videos out there that go into much greater detail about the differences between various NCEES approved calculators if you want more information. But for now, let's quickly go through some of the features of the TI-36X Pro. Compared to its predecessor, the TI-36X Solar, as well as some competitors, the TI-36X Pro has a larger screen that can show more than one calculation at a time. This is useful because the TI-36X Pro also has built-in memory. This lets the user store and retrieve previous equations and answers in case you want to view them later or make edits to them after entering them. Memory is also stored even after you turn the calculator off. In terms of button layout, the basics require a pretty low learning curve. Many common commands are easy and intuitive. Buttons such as sign, inverse sign, and others are simply a click of the calculator and then another click. The same could be said for pi, e, l, natural log, or log of any base. This is going to be much faster than having to go through a menu during an exam where time is of the essence. Additionally, predefined templates for buttons like ratios, integrals, and derivatives also exist. The TI-36X Pro also contains a solver tool. I will admit that I did not use this on either the FE or the PE, but it is a feature that I would rather have and not need, rather than need and not have. Maybe you will find a use for it. The TI-36X Pro also contains unit conversions. For the FE and PE, it's definitely faster to memorize unit conversions or find them in the reference manual, but this is still a feature that I think could be useful. These next three things are especially useful for the FE exam. For the FE in particular, one of the things that I liked most was that this calculator can solve matrices. It does require a little bit of work to set up a matrix, then recall it, then calculate it but it will still be faster than solving it by hand. Similar to matrices, the TI-36X Pro can also solve vectors, both the dot product and the cross product. Finally, the TI-36X Pro can also perform some basic statistics. All you have to do is make a list, then quit, and then select it. It's also worth mentioning a, a few quick notes about some competing calculators. Other videos out there show that the TI-36X Pro is slower than the Casio FX991 ClassWiz. However, it does not appear that the Casio stores the history of those calculations in the same way or allow you to go back and edit them if you type the wrong value. Personally, I think the memory retention and retrieval offered by the 36X Pro is more important than the small difference in calculation speed. It is also worth noting that there is now an even better calculator out there, the TI-30X Pro MathPrint. People seem to like the screen resolution more, and it is also apparently faster than the Pro. The only drawbacks are that it is at about twice the price, and it's not sold in the USA. 
So if you can get your hands on this calculator, you might like it more. But if you can't, I really like the Pro for all of the reasons previously listed. And no matter what, the calculator that will help you pass is the calculator that you practice with again and again. Thanks for watching, and I hope this video provided you with some useful information about some of the options for FE and PE calculators as you prepare for the exam.